I, I totally agree. Like, there are some things where closed source makes a lot of sense. And, like, I won't, I won't blame anyone for deciding to do a closed source thing because it depends on what your goal is. Like, my goal is not to, like, freaking, like, I don't know, like, some demolish everybody. And, like, I want to make stuff that helps people yeah. build circuit boards. And, like... That makes sense. And, like, but that just happens to be my very niche interest. So, yeah. like, open source works for me, but it doesn't for everybody. Well, you know? like, demolish everybody. I don't think that's a fair view of closed source or capital because, like, nobody... Sure. Like, okay, so there... This is how it, like, this is actually a really interesting conversation. So okay. <laughs> I have a mentor that refers to it as, as ethical capitalism. Okay. You know, so, like... You don't want to screw people over. You don't want to be dishonest. Yep. Um, you know, like deceit is generally discouraged, but you can still be competitive. And yeah. So competition in some ways, I mean, the incentive that derives from that really can, I mean, like the space shuttle, like the fact <laughs> that we put a person on the moon. You yeah. Know? I mean, yeah. a lot of people paid a lot of money to do those things, yeah. you know? And yeah. Like, I mean, you know, right now SpaceX is doing some really cool stuff, you know, where I used to work at. Yep. And so, um, like, I don't know, all, all those are for-profit businesses that are, that are doing good things for humanity. But at the same time, yep. like you said, I mean, you know, if you leverage open source, you can do that too. So I think it's just a yeah. different way to the same goal. I, I, I agree. That, that's a good point. Like, uh, uh, associating with demolishing someone is not necessarily representative of how people... Some people act that way. And so th there, are, there are some people that are really unethical, yeah. I think, in, in business. And, and, you know, I do interact with people like that. And I... I don't enjoy interact. I mean, sometimes <laughs> yeah. I do if I if I can best them at something, it's a little bit satisfying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> getting their goat a little bit. Yeah, or just you know getting the better of them in like a contract negotiation. If somebody's like a little bit too cocky, and then you can, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe that's not the best thing to say, but it, it's oh, a little whatever. It's kind of fun to you know to I, I sort of enjoy it a little bit. Like, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think like I, I I think it can be a tool. Like I'm still gonna try and sell the picking places, and like that's inherently capitalistic. Like. Like, yeah. in order to... You gotta pay the rent, I mean. I, uh, <laughs> exactly. Like, we live in a world guess, where yeah. money is necessary, yeah. and the way that you get that is by selling things and selling goods and services. Like, we're kind of stuck in this methodology, so yeah. in order to make something profitable, you kind of do have to play the game a little bit. But, like, the way that... Um, you know, I have my problems with Elon Musk, but like, yeah, sure. I his, work for the guy. He, well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, but one thing of his that I, I do quite like is, you know, he, I, I don't know. And I, I'm not entirely sure this is correct. I heard this, so it could be incorrect, but you know, he's trying to make Tesla's to put the fire under Ford's ass to be like, electric cars are a thing. And like, look, I'm competition. Come on. I dare you to fight me. Here are all my patents. I promise you that I will not enforce them. Go ahead, take my patents. I want the competition because I don't care about being the best electric car company. That's I care about electric cars proliferating. 